As you know, a week of coverage for Curtis has to include some film of the offensive line. Was going to do the whole shebang, a little tour there, and uh, cover everything on the offensive line, every player in his whole deal. But the way I figured it is, I keep hearing people talk about, you know, Tua, 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 Tua. And, you know, there's some truth to that. So I'm going to do an entire study of all the offensive plays to show the context, to actually see what went down. I have an idea, but I, I need to let the tape play it out. I'll do every play, scorecard, the whole thing, and I figure I get the whole offensive line in there. But what I want to do here, because I just got excited in both ways, in the high and the low, I want to do the outhouse to the penthouse performance of week one of the Miami Dolphins on the offensive line. I'm going to have two film studies, two players on the diametrically opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm going to cover uh, Liam Eikenberg and then my man to run. So before I get into that, I want to do what I usually do. Give a shout out to all you guys for stopping by, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the views. I, I love it. I got a lot of comments. Going to get back to them. Just got a lot of film I'm doing this week. Got Titans stuff coming up. I got the prep work for the Dolphins versus the Raisins. Uh, the Raisins. The, Ra- uh, the Ravens. And then um, I got this whole big offensive thing. So I got three more podcasts I'm trying to get in. So the comment thing, you know, I have had to slow it down. But I'm going to dig into it today and tomorrow and Saturday and catch up because they really mean a load to me. But I also want to give a shout out to Ace Per Head, my sponsor. Because without you guys, without them, this show ain't happening. Ace Per Head's betting software is the premier white label platform for bookies to manage their players and grow their sportsbook operation. Click the link in the description below to get set up in minutes. Ask for the Curtis promo and get a special introductory discount. I have all the respect in the world for Liam Eikenberg as a person. He seems like a great guy. I have all the respect in the world for how he's gotten to the NFL. I mean, it's an achievement of achievement. The amount of people who make it to the NFL is so infinitesimal but within the framework of the NFL his play is just extremely poor and it's accentuated because a second and a third pick was spent on him so the first film is going to be I hate to say it but the outhouse with Liam Eikenberg let's take a look at the film and see what we see
Okay, enough of that. I'm going to move on to my man, Teron. And that is the penthouse. Now, some things, <laughs> some things I want to point out because I love to dig in to specifics and go through stuff because some of it can be a little confusing. But I don't want to soil this first experience with my man, Teron. I just want to let his play, much like I did with Eichenberg's, play out. But I'm going to give a few heads up. Some things that are, are interesting to pay attention to or take notice of is notice Teron's head movement. This is always a good sign of a player's awareness. You want, The eyes can move. But with that helmet, and when you're locked in there, really, you've got to turn the head. So as you watch his head turn, I, I cut a lot of that out, but I left some in there. You're going to see what he's seeing and how he checks and rechecks, and he is very, very aware. And this is critical. Tehran is not, at this stage, Hall of Fame talent. I'm sorry, Tehran. You're close. So he's not a dominator. He doesn't come in like somebody's all-time Hall of Fame greats and just literally dominate play in and play out. What he does, he plays a finesse, smooth game. He understands the clock, he understands the play, and he gives just enough to make it happen. And this saves him because he's not a giant. So uh, you have to understand, when you see him do his thing, he understands what's going on around him and how the rest should perform. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the play around him fails. And so sometimes I did a stop when he made a mistake, but there's only a couple, and a couple of stops to show you where he allowed others to make their blocks and they don't make it. And it looks like he's not doing his job, but if you really take a close look, he set himself up in perfect position to do something, to get to where he needs to get to, but behind him and around him kind of fails. Very few failures. And the last thing to understand is he's coming off major injury. He hasn't had a full prep work. He is coming in semi-prepared. So this is literally the floor of Tehran, which is very, very nice. His play is going to continue to get better. And then I don't know what's going to happen. I might grow hair. I don't know because it's going to be that exciting. Hallelujah! 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 H
difference between one guy's tape and another guy's tape. Now, obviously, you know, one is highly experienced and one is, and you could put that there. But clearly, struggles are tremendous for one and the ability for another is there. And you can see that once that knife gets sharpened, it's going to cut much better. Tehran is able to do so much for this offense. But really, when you when you watch the tape, you'll see Eichenberg really pulls down his play because yeah, offensive line is, you know, there's other positions that they the play and who you play next to really determines how you're doing. But the offensive line is probably the most critical for chemistry and Guys that are next to each other, re- and across the board, actually, really help determine the entire play of the individual and the team more than anything else. So, Tehran really had a very good game. Not great. There were some mistakes. There was, you know, one or two bad blocks, but a few that he could have done better. But for the most part, hallelujah. All right, this is Curtis. We got a big game coming up with the Ravens. It's going to really test everything. I'm going to get that film out to you to see. This offense is highly dependent, just like every other offense, on the offensive line. And you got to start your evaluation there and then add context as you expand. Quarterback, uh, offensive line, quarterback, running back, and receivers. And that's really how you have to evaluate Because even the best quarterback is not going to thrive if the offensive line has an outhouse or even two outhouses like we had week one. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. As Curtis saying, catch you next time. Go Fins. See you soon. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.